Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you a free plugin and a free theme to create a recipes website. So if you are a food blogger or if you want to create a website for the food recipes, you can use the free theme and the free plugin. This plugin has the free version as well as the premium version. Theme also has the free version as well as the pro version. So we will install the free theme and the free plugin and later I'll install the pro version of the theme and the plugin and we will see what are the differences between the free and the pro version of the plugin and theme. Now let me show you some sample recipe websites that I have created using this theme and the plugin. This is the first demo you will see the sliding banner at the top and this banner has a recipes. If I click on it, it will go to that particular recipe. Below that we have newsletter subscription. You can add your contact form here. Below that we have some recipes featured, popular, latest. Then we have about me section, recent recipes. You will see some recipes which are created recently. You will see categories for these recipes. You can add your own categories. If you want to delete these categories, you can delete these categories. These are the keys for the recipe. You can add or delete the keys. Here you will see the search option. We have a banner and then we have footer. Now let me show you some other demos that you can use. Here you can see that we can use up to 11 different layouts for the recipe website. Let me show you some of them. Header section, then we have simple banner here newsletter then we have categories this is slightly different than the previous example this one also looks good let's go to the next one now let me go to one of the recipes here let's click on this one and you will see this is the single recipe page in the right hand side we have a sidebar in the sidebar, we have some information about the author. Then we have featured recipes, recipe keys, categories, popular recipes. We can customize the sidebar. On the left hand side, we have the title, then the featured image gallery. You can see the gallery images also. Then we have description, the information about this recipe, author, cooking method, courses, keys, difficulty level, the time for the recipe, how much time it is going to take. You can mention that here, servings, how many servings, and this is description, and these are the ingredients. You can see a checkbox for all these ingredients, and if you want to change the scale of the serving, you can change that from here. For three servings, it will show the ingredients according to the three servings. These are the instructions. You can see the instructions here. After the instructions, you will see nutrition facts. You can add the nutrition facts about this recipe. Then we have notes, frequently asked questions. You can add this to the Pinterest or to the Instagram. And this is the information about the author. And at the bottom, we have comments and the other recipes. So this is the single recipe page. Let me show you how easy to add the recipe. Now here I have opened one of the recipes page and here you will see the title, then description. In the right hand side, you will see the courses that you can select for this recipe, equations, cooking method, the keys that you can select for this recipe, the badges, and this is the featured image. In the right hand side, you will see this section will help you add the information for your recipe the title, subtitle, description. This theme and plugin is SEO optimized. You will see difficulty level. You can change the difficulty level from here. So you just need to enter the details here and it will show on the recipe page. It is very easy to create the recipe. It is very easy to edit them. Number of servings, you can add the ingredients easily. You can see the option to add the ingredients here. Then instructions, you can create instructions. You can add images for the instruction. So I'll show you all these options step by step. So we are going to create a recipe. I'll show you how you can add the recipe, how you can customize the website, how you can change the layout. And in fact, you can import the demo content and you don't need to create the website from the scratch. 
once you import the demo it is going to import the sample layout of the home page and the recipes it is going to create some dummy recipes for you and you can edit or delete these recipes and you can add your own recipes on your website so let's see how we can install a free plugin and free theme to create a recipe website do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website, and now we are going to install the free recipe plugin. We will start with the free plugin and we will also install the free theme that is compatible with this free plugin. So here I have the WordPress website. Let me show you the website. This is the default WordPress website and I'm using the default 2023 theme. And if I go to plugins, I have not installed any plugin as of now. So let's start with the installation of the free plugin. Click on add new. And here search for delicious recipe. So this is the plugin that we are going to install delicious recipes best wordpress recipe plugin and it is developed by wp delicious so let's click on install now and click on activate now it will go through a small setup wizard so we will go through that click on proceed to setup here you will see the color combination right now the primary color is a kind of green and the secondary color is kind of blue if you want to change the color combination according to your logo you can change it from here you can select different colors and set up your primary and secondary color so i'm going to keep it as it is click next and here you will see the permalink setting that will be the url structure for the recipes on your website so the base recipe will be recipe this is the course base so i don't think you need to make any changes here to the permalink settings you can keep it as it is click next and here you will see additional settings additional settings to optimize your experience with delicious recipe plugin display recipes on home page so right now we do not have any page on this website so i'm going to keep it as it is and uh, here you will see recipe search page so some pages are created automatically so we are going to select one of them so it will be recipe search so you can see it here you can select that one and click finish and you can go to settings from here or you can go to create a new recipe so i'll go to settings and now we are back to the dashboard and in the left hand panel you will see two different options recipes and delicious recipe this is the plugin setting if i go here you will see the settings for the plugin here you will see upgrade to pro if you want to go to documentation you, you can go from here these are the settings roadmap so let's go to settings and you can skip this one and these are the basic settings for the recipes so you can see display recipes on home how many recipes you want to show as of now i'm not going to make any changes i'll show you later how does this work these settings are only for the pro recipe detail so this will show the recipe page the actual page for the recipe so here you will see enable recipe detail header featured image all these options will be shown on the recipes page we will go through these settings later let's go to recipes here and you will see what demo recipe is created so let's go to preview now you can see that it is not looking good because we do not have the theme compatible with this plugin now let's see which theme is compatible with this plugin so let's go to plugins again and if i go to view details here you will see the details of this plugin and here you will see which themes are compatible blossom recipe blossom recipe yummy recipes so if i go to the website of this plugin i can see some themes are available there so this is the website wpdelicious.com if you want to buy this plugin if you want to compare the features i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link to go to the website if there is any discount coupon code then i'll mention that in the description box also so this is the website of this plugin you will see the features of this plugin why choose this plugin you will see all these features are available this is seo friendly user dashboard 
and beautiful recipe card so you can create a card for the recipe front-end recipe submission pro this is only for the pro option compatible with the pinterest right now we are installing a free plugin if you want to use pro plugin you can see the comparison between the free and the pro plugin here you will see the pricing of the pro plugin is 59 dollars per year lifetime even after license expiration so you can even you can buy for a year and after a year you can still use this plugin and you will see different features are available in the free as well as the pro plugin you will see this here you will not get analytics dashboard on the free version in the free you will get three recipe card layouts in the pro version you will get eight layouts and you will also get 100 percent money back guarantee now if i go to themes you will see some themes are available so you can see this is yummy bites so i guess this is the free theme and this is a premium theme and these are the themes so let's see we have this theme here yummy bites so we can install that one let's go to the dashboard again let me close this one go to appearance and click on add new and here you can search for yummy bites and you will see the free theme here so i'm going to click on it install it click on activate activate it now it says these plugins are required so i'm going to install these plugins so click on begin installing plugins so there are four plugins that need to be installed so i'm going to install this plugin and let's activate these plugins all right so all the plugins are activated and you will see some plugin details here in the left hand panel let's go back to this recipe page that we opened before and let's refresh it you will see that it is somewhat compatible with this this is the single recipe page and if i go to the home page you will see this is the home page of our website right now it is not configured so let's go back to the dashboard again go to appearance and under appearance you will see a new option here demo importer plus so we are going to import the demo content for our website so click on it and here you will see some pro demos as well as some free demos that you can install we have yummy bites yummy bites pro 2 you can see all these options are available for pro version so we will start with the free and later we will install the pro also so let's go to this one and this is the free one click on import and you will see import complete site so i'm going to click on import complete site and delete previously imported site we have not imported anything previously so i'm not going to check it click import all right so you can see that it has imported successfully it took around four to five minutes and it shows that it is imported so let's click on view site and now you will see the completely different home page of your website this was the previous one you will see it here i still have it open if i refresh it you will see this new home page of your website all right so here you will see the logo you will see some categories here recipe keys cooking methods we have the menu here home page about page and these are the popular recipes now suggest me blog it has created blog also and this is the contact page now on the home page we have this sliding banner where some recipes are shown and here subscribe to the newsletter the recent recipes you will see popular recipes on the home page these are recipe keys corn free dairy free so customer will be able to select keys from here let's say if, if i want high protein i can open high protein and you will see some recipes which are under high protein category you will see that here right now these are vegan some recipes again about me here you can edit it and you can add your own information here this is the logo section and you will see the footer also all right so this is all about home page let's go to contact page and on the contact we have only some content we can edit it later and we can add our own contact form here let's go to blog these are all recipes which are shown on the blog also if i go to single recipe page you will see the layout of the single recipe page 
in the right hand side we have the sidebar which will show the search recent post recent comments this is the recipe page we have gallery also this is about a recipe then we have the information about recipe author cooking method cuisine courses you will see the time how much time does it take cooking time rest time servings description and you can see the ingredients we have a checkbox so that customer will be able to mark them as checked while creating recipe they can select these options so if you want to scale it they can scale two times three times half time these are the instructions how to create recipe so this one looks really nice Nutrition facts are also there. Some notes you can add at the bottom. You have frequently asked questions. Here you will see the option to add it to Pinterest or Instagram. You will see this card here. At the bottom we have comments section and other recipes. So this is the single recipe page. Now let's go back to the dashboard again. Let's close this one. Go to dashboard. And let's go to recipes. And you will see that almost 21 recipes are added when we imported the demo content to your website. Now you can add your own recipe or if you want to edit these recipes, you can edit these recipes. Here you will see courses. If I go to courses, you can create different courses. Right now there are some courses already listed such as appetizer, beverage, breakfast, dessert. If you want to add your own, if you want to delete, you can simply delete from here. Let's go to cuisines and you will see these cuisines are already there. Indian, Asian, Italian. If you want to add more, you can add from here. If you want to delete, you can delete from here. Cooking method. So these are the cooking methods. Baking, broiling, grilling, roasting. If you go to home page, you will see all these options here. You will see these options a recipe category dessert or dinner so and below that we have a recipe keys and you will see some recipe keys here you will see it this option here the recipe keys so you will see it here cold corn free dairy dairy free so all these recipe keys will also be shown on the home page of your website now if i go to one of these recipe keys you can let's go to edit so this is the name, this is the slug and you can add the icon for that particular recipe key and that icon will be shown here. All right, next is a recipe badges. Delicious, healthy, tasty. You can add description for that also. Dietaries. All right, so there is nothing under dietaries. Let's go to courses again and these are the courses. You will see desert dinner. So on the home page, you will see these courses, desert and dinner. So we have 11 recipes under desert and eight recipes under dinner. So let's go to one of the recipes here. Let's open one of the recipes. So this is the one that I'm going to use. Click on edit. Now you will see this is the name or the title of the recipe. Let me open the recipe also so that you can see side by side. So this is how the recipe look. This is the title and you will see it here. And this is the information about this recipe. If I go here, you will see the information about this recipe. This is the information. Up to quick tips. You will see it here. All right, so this is all about the recipe information. Then in the right hand column, you will see courses. So you can select the courses for this particular recipe. Then we have cuisines. Asian, Chinese, Thais. These are the dummy recipes. So that's why it is selected in multiple categories. Cooking method. And you can add a recipe key from here. So if you want to add, let's say, vegan, you can simply click on it and it will get added here. So this recipe will also come under this vegan key. Then we have badges. You can add your own badges from here dietaries right now we do not have anything there and this is the featured image if you want to replace you can replace or you can remove it you can add your featured image here 
So let's see where does this show. So this is the featured image. This featured image will also be shown on the home page of the website. So if I it is shown in the banner also, you will see it here. Now here in the left hand side, you will see the settings to edit the recipe page. All right now, this is the subtitle. You will see the subtitle here, then recipe description. So the description will be shown here. So the, you will see the description of the recipe here. Then we have recipe keywords. So these are for the SEO optimization. So you can add your SEO keywords here for this particular recipe. This is the difficulty level, beginner, intermediate and advanced. You will see that here. So you need to select these options. So if you select intermediate, the difficulty level will be shown here, intermediate. So whatever you select here, it will be shown on this page. So you can see the preparation time, you can add your total time, cooking time will be five minutes, real time will be nine minutes, and calories, how many calories are there, best season, select the best season for this recipe, such as fall, winter, summer, spring, and estimated cost if you want to add cost you can add the cost also you can see the total time is 25 minutes cook time and rest time now here you will see ingredients under ingredients the first option is number of servings for this particular recipe you can select one serving or two serving whatever serving you want to select you can select from here now under ingredients title this is the title you will see it here this is the title if you want to change this one, you can change it from here. Here you can start adding ingredients for the recipe. And you will see quantity, unit, the name of the ingredients. And if you want to add any notes, you can add that here. So you can see the first is one can of kidney beans drained and rinsed. You will see it here. One, this is the quantity and unit will be canned. From here, you can select the unit. Right now it is set to can. You can select any one of these units, gram, kilogram, liter, pound. So right now it is set to can of kidney beans. You will see it here of kidney beans. This is the ingredient. The second is half cups of tomato sauce. So you will see it here. So this is how you can start adding the ingredients for the recipe. If you want to add more, you can simply click on add ingredient. Let's say here I want to add two tomatoes so i'm going to add tomatoes so it will show like two tomatoes only and once done you can save these changes next is instructions you will see the instructions here if i go here you will see instructions and this is the first instruction this is the second one third one fourth one so if i go here you will see the first instruction this is the title if you want to add title you can add title otherwise you can start adding the instruction here if I click on it, you will see the text box for the instruction. So you will see it here, just like this. And this is the first one. Now, if I scroll down, you will see second instruction. You can add a title. Otherwise, you can start adding the instruction. If you want to add image for the instruction, you can add the image for the instruction. Like while cooking a recipe, you can show the part of that particular instruction. Let's say if you want to show how you can cut the tomatoes, you can add the image of the cutting tomatoes there. The next instruction is there, preheat oven. So you can add the image of the oven here and it will be shown here. Now, if you want to add video, you can also add video for that particular instruction. And you can also add notes for that instruction. You will see all these instructions are there. If you want to add more, you can simply click on add instruction and you can add the title instruction for the recipe and add image or video or notes. So it is very easy to add instructions. If you want to add a new set of instruction, you can add a new section here. So this is one section of the instruction. And if you want to add another section, you can create a new section and under that section you can create instruction for the new section let's go to the next one that is equipments so this is only for the pro version let's go to gallery 
here you can add number of images for the gallery so you will see it here gallery will be shown here next is nutrition so you can add the nutrition here at the bottom you will see this section nutrition and you will see all these options here you can simply start adding here if I make it two, you will see it here so this is how it will look you can add calories fat trans fat so all these options are ready-made you just need to enter the numbers there and it will show everything on the nutrition card notes if you want to add notes you can add notes you will see it here at the end of the recipe then we have FAQs section you will see it here so you can create FAQs you will see this dummy FAQs here if you want to add new you can click on add new enter the title and then the answer all right so this is all about the recipe page so if you want to add new recipe you can simply go to recipes and click add new it is very simple to create a new recipe you can add the title some description then you will select courses cuisines cooking method tags or recipe keys then add the recipe badge and add the featured image that is important you should have a featured image of your recipe so that it will be shown on the home page as well as on the recipe page then you can go here and here you can enter the title subtitle description keywords and difficulty level preparation time so just like what we saw here you can start adding the information about your recipe on this page and once you enter all the details you can simply publish it and it will show the recipe just like this so it is definitely the best plugin to create the recipe website let's go to settings delicious recipe settings and here you will see the recipe page display recipes on home page so this option is enabled here that's why it shows all the recipes on the home page all right now you can see the other settings are available only for the pro version so we cannot make any changes here recipe details so this is the recipe details page so what options do you want to show on the recipe page we opened one recipe page here and this is the header section then in the right hand side we have the sidebar so you will see all these options if you do not want to show the author on the recipe page let me show you here this is the author if you do not want to show the author on the recipe page you can simply disable this from here if you do not want to show let's say calories you can disable the calories from here and the calories will not be shown on the recipe page so I'm going to enable it let's see if you do not want to show the estimated cost you can simply disable this from here this is recipe navigation that I think is this section at the top then display powered by you will see this display powered by at the bottom this is the section if you do not want to show this you can simply disable it from here recipe author this is the recipe author if you do not want to show this section you can disable it from here so all these settings are available under delicious recipe settings so this is for the recipe details page this is a recipe archive the archive is nothing but this section let me show you if I go to one of the category here you will see this is the archive it will show three recipes in a row so if I go here you will see grid view so this is nothing but the grid view appearance now these are the primary colors if you want to change it you can change it permalinks social sharing review ratings so these are the pretty basic settings if you only go through these settings you will come to know how does this work author settings so this is the name you can change the name of the author you can change your name here if you do not want to show it you can disable that option also these are the print settings nutrition so if someone wants to print the recipe we have given the option to print the recipe 
here you will see print recipe so if they click on it it will print the recipe nutrition so this is the nutrition fact if you do not want to show it you can disable it search settings miscellaneous so this is all about the recipe how you can create the recipe and how you can show this on the website now i do have the pro version of this plugin so i'm going to install the pro version and let's see how does this work so let's go to plugins and click on add new all right so here you can see that i have the yummy bites pro and delicious recipes pro so i'm going to install the yummy bites pro plugin we have installed this theme so i'm going to use the pro plugin of this theme so let's go to plugins click on upload plugin i have it downloaded so i'm going to upload it click on install now click on activate plugin all right so we need to activate the license so i need to enter the license for this plugin here i'm going to activate the license all right so the license is activated now let's go back to delicious recipe settings right. these options are still available for the pro version of the delicious recipe pro plugin right now we have installed the yummy bites pro plugin not the delicious recipes pro plugin now let's go back to the appearance and let's go to demo importer plus and now you can see that we have all these layouts available because we have installed the yummy bites pro plugin so all these layouts are available so you can choose any one of these layouts for your website now i'm going to change the layout if you want to see how does this look you can simply click on preview and it will show the preview of your website so this is how to look this one looks good to me let's go to the layout 3 and you will see the sliding recipes here these are the categories this one also looks good so let's select the demo one so i'll replace the current layout with the demo one this is the demo one so i'm going to import this one click on import complete site and i'm going to delete the previously imported site so we imported the free theme and the free layout so now i'm going to delete that one and i'm going to replace the free one with the new one so click on import the site has been imported successfully let's click on view site and now we will see the new layout of the website all right so you will see the complete demo website is imported and it looks really good so we have the header section then we have the sliding banners with the recipes and these are i think the categories it's not showing the images but we can add that it is very easy to customize it then we have this subscribe then all the recipes are shown here about me recent recipes all right so this is one of the demo that we have imported now how you can change the header section right now it shows the the demo logo and you can change that also let's go back to the dashboard and here you will see the customize option or you can see header here so let's go to customize so these are the basic customization settings for the entire website for the header footer and the layout of your website so let's see if, if we can go to header this is the main header general so you just need to play with the settings it is very easy to customize it header search you will see it here sticky header if you want sticky header you can mark it as sticky social media settings so you will see all these social media icons here you can add the link for these icons so if you do not want to show it you can simply disable it from here If I go to footer, you will see footer here. Footer setting, these are the footer settings. Now, let's say if you want to customize this header, if you want to change this logo, you can simply click on it and you will see this option here. Here, you can change your logo, you can add your own logo. This is the title, you can change the title of your website. So this is the title that I'm going to use. So it will be shown here. Site icon, you can change the site icon also. Site color, 
title color, title tagline. So whichever section you want to change, you can simply click on it. You will see the options, these pencil icons to change. This comes under primary menu. If you go to dashboard, you will see the primary menu. Go to appearance and then go to menus. And you will see the menu here. This is the primary menu, footer menu. So you can change the menu from here. This is the button, get it now. You will see it here, you can change it. If you do not want it, you can disable that one. Now this is the notification. If you do not want, you can simply disable it and this bar will disappear. If you want to hide this on mobile, you can simply click on this option and this section will be hidden on the mobile devices. If you want to edit the footer section, this will be the same process. Let's say this is the bottom section. I do not want this one, so I can click on it and I can disable it. It will not be shown in the footer. This is the privacy policy. This is, I guess, the menu primary. This comes under footer menu. This is the title recipes. You can change that one. Here you will see recipes. So if you want to customize the header and footer section, you can simply go to the customize section and you will be able to make changes to the header and footer of this website. So let's click on publish and let's go to the website. Now you will see the name here, the title we have changed. And if I go down, you will see the footer section is deleted. Let's go to contact and under contact, if you want to edit this one, you can click on edit page. And here you can see that one form is already added, but the form is not created. You can create forms and you can add the contact form here. So if I go to dashboard and if I go to plugins, you will see that the WP forms plugin is already installed, but the form is not created. So if I go to WP forms, you can create a new form here. Let's use the simple contact form. I have a separate video on how to use the WP forms. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to know how to create a form. Let's click on save and let's close it. So you will see the short code for the form. So I'm going to use this one on the home page. And let's save or update. View the page and you will see the contact form. So it is very easy to edit the pages also. All right, now I have the delicious recipe pro plugin. Now I'm going to install the pro plugin. So let's go back to the dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new. Let's go to upload plugins. I have it downloaded, so I'm going to install it now. Click on activate plugin. Now I need to enter the license key here, so I'm going to enter the license key. All right, so the license key is activated. Now let's go back to the settings again. Delicious recipes settings. And you will see that all these options are available now. Now we have installed the pro plugin. We can have more customization options for the recipes. So if I go to recipe details, you will see all the details again. And the options which were available for the pro plugin are now available for the customization. You can see the default card. So you can choose any one of these cards. So definitely you will get more customization settings using the delicious recipe pro plugin. If you want to compare the difference between the free and the pro plugin, you can compare it from here. So as we saw that there are layouts available for the pro version of the Yummy Bytes Pro plugin. So, so if you want to use different layouts for your website, you can go for the Yummy Bytes Pro plugin, which is available for the Yummy Bytes theme. And you can use up to 11 different layouts for the recipe website. And to use more customization options, you can go for the Delicious Recipe Pro plugin. So I think it is definitely one of the best plugin to create the recipes website for food blogger. If you want to buy this plugin, use my link in the description box. And as I said earlier, if there is any discount coupon available, I'll mention that in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section.
and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.